Canada's banks are perfectly situated to help lead the creation of a federated digital ID system between government and the private sector. The World Economic Forum agrees that banks and financial... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did he just say the World Economic Forum? He did. You know what? A little Klaus Schwab. So we've got the Canadian Bankers Association, the CBA, and they've got some white papers regarding digital ID. They call it Canada's Digital ID Future, a Federated Approach. And they've also got this video. This is Neil Parmenter uh, who put this video together, I guess. And let's take a look. They got a YouTube uh, CDN bankers with 209 subs. So obviously they're not really much on it, but this is a pretty interesting video. Digital ID future. Let's take a look at this. We're, Pan and I are going to be watching this and then commenting. Let's see. Canada is on the cusp of a revolutionary innovation that will transform the way Canadians authenticate themselves online and protect their identity. Digital ID. All First of all, Pan, what do you think, man? Trustworthy face. Yay or nay, brother? Um, I don't know. He kind of reminds me of uh, Daily Affirmations with Stuart Smalley, if you've ever seen uh, Saturday Night Live back in the day. You know, uh, I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and gosh darn it, Klaus Schwab likes me. All of us are living in a digital world, but we're tethered to an analog model of how we identify ourselves. Memorizing countless online passwords, carrying government-issued licenses, plastic cards, and more. Digital ID is a way for Canadians to identify themselves to government, businesses, and each other electronically, with ease and rock-solid security. I don't know. I just don't trust the dude. You know what I mean? Just the way he, he's nope. talking to me. Yeah. Yeah. He, not at all. Not at all. There's something about him, man. There's something, and maybe, I don't know what it is. There's something about him, but I'm going to keep watching. Without the need to present physical documents. One interconnected network. A federated digital ID ecosystem developed in collaboration with Canada's best and brightest talent from our banks, telecommunication companies, law enforcement, and government. Hold on a second. Banks, telecommunication companies, law enforcement, and government. All right. So I know that TELUS, which is a telecommunications company, uh, was paid 200 k to spy on our data. That's that's for sure. Blacklocks reported that. Uh, so that's telecommunications. Banks froze accounts recently, uh, and uh, they were spying on their own, uh, their own customers. So companies, the so telecommunication companies, banks got them. Law enforcement, wow, I don't know. I'm just Today we covered that whole trampling thing uh, once more because we found some old footage with Candy Candicero. Uh, and government, well... I don't know, Pan. You tell me, brother. Am I kind of... I don't trust this guy at all. <laughs> I mean... It would have the power and security to store every Canadian's electronic identity and attributes. <laughs> mm, you know, I'm not a Canadian, but uh, let me, you know, speak on behalf of right. most Canadians when I say um, hard pass, buddy. Right. And it would unlock countless opportunities for Canadians to verify who they are safely, quickly, and securely, while only revealing the information necessary for each transaction. I just wanted to throw in a little pitch over here. Sign up for WCFreedom.com. There's a newsletter. It's free. Uh, sending you information, all kinds of stuff that we find in social media. Fast. And uh, get in on that, okay? Because it's, it's top quality stuff. And we're going to be pushing that out, that content, and uh, getting it into your inboxes easy and secure way to bank, sign up for government services, renew driver's licenses or health cards, shop, travel, and more. Canada's banks are perfectly situated to help lead the creation of a federated digital ID system between government and the private sector. The World Economic Forum agrees that banks and financial- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did he just say the World Economic Forum? He did. You know what? A little Klaus Schwab. Okay, all right, so the World Economic Forum, I'm just going to back this up. ...government and the private sector. The World Economic Forum agrees that banks and financial institutions should lead the path forward for digital ID. <laughs> come on, brother, come on, man. Are you serious right now? Banks are highly yeah, regulated I mean, and... They, they want that control. I mean, it's, uh, it's scary stuff what the WEF wants to do. These guys are nuts. Trusted. They have advanced cybersecurity and privacy technology. And they have the infrastructure to operate provincially and nationally. Oh yeah, that's that's what I want. Provincial and national control by Carl Schwab. That's Klaus. Sorry, Klaus. Klaus Schwab. Santa Klaus Schwab. Who wants to? He knows when I'd be naughty. He knows when I'd be nice. And he's going to turn off my entire legal identity and my wallet associated with that. That's that's yes. Sign me up, please. 
Banks are also at the forefront of working with fintech startups who are bringing revolutionary mobile and online products and services to Canadians. Digital ID can help consumers navigate between these apps and programs with trust and confidence, knowing their ID is protected at all times. A federated digital ID approach can also significantly reduce fraud, save taxpayer money, improve regulatory compliance, and make it easier to do business as an owner and as a consumer. Improve regulatory compliance so they can check your amount of your carbon score. Uh, significantly reduce fraud. That would be anybody who they don't want money to go to. Save taxpayer money. Okay, so that's an efficiency argument over here. Easier to do business as an owner and consumer because you just tap away your existence. That's basically what it sounds like to me. In fact, the Canadian Bankers Association just launched a white paper with our recommendations on how to move forward with a federated digital ID framework. I encourage you to read it to learn more. Oh, wow, Pan. You ready to read a PDF put up by the CBA, the Canadian Bankers Association, as well as Klaus Schwab? What do you think, brother? You ready to read that? Um, I don't think I need to, you know, it's, it's pretty clear what they want here. Um, you know, they want a new world order and, uh, I'm not down with that. Neither am I. Hail brother. Thank you so much. Make sure you sign up to WCFreedom.com for the newest freedom information sent to your inbox every day. Hail brethren. Thank you.